My name is Gary Miller with Measurement Specialties and today we're going to talk about calibrating a Manta 2 Sub 3. Manta 2 Sub 3 has temperature, pH, conductivity, ORP, pH reference, optical DO, uh, both in milligrams per liter and percent saturation, and turbidity. And when we calibrate an instrument, we'll use the storage cup. You remove the cap, it now becomes a calibration cup. You use the reverse side, and you can use this to do rinse. Okay. We're going to go ahead and connect this to our PC. And this screen, by the way, is the same screen that you will see on your handheld device. But just to speed it up, I'm going to do the calibrations with the PC. Okay. And we are connected. Okay. First, I'm going to calibrate pH, which I have my pH 7 and my pH 10. I do a two-point calibration. Um, you have the option of doing three, but I've never seen any improvement doing a three-point over two-point. One thing I always do is keep all my solutions with me. This way I can do calibration out in the field. I'll keep a bottle of DI water so I can do a rinse. So I rinse. Repeat. Seven buffer, pour a little in there, cover the sensors, pour it out, rinse again. And for the sake of speeding up this video, I'm only going to do one rinse, one calibration on, or one uh, rinse with the DI water, one rinse with the solution. Cover up the sensors. Hit Manta 2. Calibrate pH units. It says enter sample 1. That's what we have in here. 7.00. Enter. Comes up with a graph. Wait till that stabilizes. It's stable. I hit enter. Accept, yes. Now it says enter sample 2. Rinse. I would do it twice. I'm not going to. Using my 10 buffer, rinse. Cover up my sensors. Put in my 10 value. Hit enter. Wait for the graph to stabilize. Enter. Accept, yes. Do I want to do three samples? No. Calibration successful, it goes to the screen, it's displaying 10. And I'm going to calibrate conductivity. This is my DI water. And remember, I'm eliminating a rinse. 
rates of my conductivity. Cover up my sensors. Back to the screen. Manta 2, calibrate. Specific conductance in micro siemens per centimeter. I'm doing freshwater calibration. I'm using 1412 micro siemens. Enter. Again, wait till it's stable. It's stable. Hit enter. Yes to accept. And we're done with that. Now we're going to calibrate turbidity. Turbidity is a two point calibration. You calibrate your zero and your slope. Zero is calibrated first. I'm going to rinse with my DI water and skip one of the rinses. And I'm doing my turbid free water, my zero solution which is the first calibration for turbidity. Cover the sensors. And again, back to the screen. Manta 2, calibrate. Turbidity NTUs. Uh, very intuitive software. It says put sensor in zero solution, which is what we have it in. Hit enter to use sensor value to calibrate. Graph is stable. We hit enter. Now it says enter the slope cal. We're going to use 100 NTUs. Let me pour this in here. Oops. To, since I'm using perfect free water. So. Now pour in my 100 solution. I do a rinse. Normally I'd repeat. Cover the sensors. It's waiting on the second value to be added, which says slow cow. I'm using 100 NTUs as I stated, 100, enter, wait for it to stabilize, I hit the graph, enter, and calibration done. Now I'm reading 100 NTUs. Now for dissolved oxygen, I'm going to go ahead and use my DI water, or I could use tap water. I'm going to take a bottle, whether it be a one liter bottle or a half liter bottle like I have here. Fill it halfway full. Shake vigorously for one minute. Remove the lid, let it stand for a minute. I'll go over here to Manta 2. Calibrate, HDO percent sat, that's what we're calibrating. This is now that we've shaken it, it's 100% air saturated water. It says right here BP is set to 732, it's a barometric pressure. You always calibrate to your local barometric pressure. I have a barometer right over there that says 732. I also have one that's built into the multiprobe. If you have a low range depth sensor, you can use it for your barometer as well. Um, this is the only sensor where you have to wait on. Whenever you're calibrating optical DO, the HDO, you wait three minutes and then you hit your calibrate. It says enter zero for a two point cal or a hundred for a one point cal. We're doing a one point cal, it's all you need to do. Hundred. Again, I wait for it to stabilize. 
drawing a hundred right now. Enter and click I'm done to complete. It. So uh, all you need for dissolved oxygen again to calibrate it is just some tap water and an empty bottle. Now we're going to calibrate depth. Okay, depth is just calibrated to air. Okay, we want the value right here to read zero in air. So you just remove, rinse, make sure nothing's blocking the, the hole that's right there for depth or your depth sensor. We go to Manta 2, calibrate, depth. It says Remove sensor from water, hit enter to accept. We're going to hit enter. It says press Y to accept. Now we've calibrated depth. It's that simple. Uh, when you get comfortable with this, and you have your solutions that you keep with you, uh, at that point in time, um, you should be able to calibrate your instrument in 10 to 15 minutes, no longer. Um, it's pretty straightforward. The GUI software is about as easy as you can get. Um, and that's, that's all there is to calibrating a, a Sub-3 Multipro.